So to recap, we're going to go back to our task list. Okay. Remember, you have the ability to adjust your columns. When I moved over to the other browser, it went back to default. So again, I can go in and I can adjust my columns here. If you want to filter specifically by preventative maintenance, you can just type in system and it will filter preventative maintenance. Remember too that you can print yourself a list or if a list needs to be printed, maybe an outside contractor is coming in, you can click on the very first PM and hold down your control or command key and you can actually print a list or you can print individual pages. So if this is something that might be done by an outside contractor, you can definitely print a list and hand it off to them. Maybe that's what they need to know what they do in that building that day, okay? So again, really simple and easy to adjust. Same with the scheduler. You can go in and adjust your column settings and you can search by keyword. And remember, there's always gonna be paused and active unless you've activated all your PMs. You can definitely open them up and you can start to edit them to your facility. So I'm going to just point out a couple of more things as far as the system goes. Remember that if you need help, there is a customer support number here. There's an email, there's a chat, and there's a phone number. We also have a really great online wiki. And if you wanted to know more about preventative maintenance, if you go to the enterprise user guide and you go to navigation, you can go to the scheduler tab and it breaks it down exactly like we talked about today into step-by-step -step visual instructions. And there will be probably a video at the very end that you can go to. And if not, you can check out all of our other videos that are trying to be a little bit more of a self-starter and you can try and figure things out on your own, but always remember to contact customer support.